What's up, folks? So after 50 Gen 5 DS battles, I decided I wanted to post something a little bit different. Not too much different, but a little bit different. So my good friend Polly Depay was on me to do a rotation battle. I was like, I don't want to do rotation. Rotation's way too confusing. Um, and so I was like, I don't want to use any of my standard teams. And, uh, but I'll tell you what, I'll do either an Ubers battle or a Little Cup battle. And he was like, okay, let's do Little Cup. He actually said, okay, let's do uh, Ubers as well, but I'm not, that's a long story that I'm not going to talk about. Anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and start off with my, uh, whatchamacallit that thing, uh, level, and it's going to go ahead and rock slide, seeing as all three of his Pokemon are weak to it. I, I think, yeah, all three of his Pokemon are weak to it. So anyway, I take out his uh, Drifloon first turn, which is great. Next out is a freaking Sun Current. I'm like, Sun Current, are you serious? So I'm going to go ahead and switch into Nila to go ahead and set up the Reflect, seeing as uh, at least two of those three Pokemon are physical. I have no idea what freaking Sun Current is going to do. Anyway, yeah, uh, I take a Brave Bird quite well, only no doubt it's about 50%. And that's because of my uh, awesome, awesome reflect. I'm gonna go ahead and go for the wish at this point, just to get my health back, or not necessarily my health, or not necessarily Mila's health back, but maybe Hermione's if I decide to switch in. Anyway, my opponent decides to take the opportunity to go for the Hone Claws. Uh, boosts what attack and accuracy? I don't know. Anyway, Edie's gonna go ahead and or not Edie. Hermione's gonna go ahead and uh, rotate in. Uh, I'm gonna miss the rock slide as my opponent goes for the stealth rocks. So stealth rocks and rotation isn't necessarily the best idea, but I don't think this team was designed for uh, rotation. My team wasn't designed for rotation either. I just for some reason thought that it would be more fun to have, uh, if I was going to have to do rotation, might as well be, be a little cup because I figured it would be more fun than just your standard rotation. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get off a shell smash here as I'm back up to almost full health, although I'm not quite at full health. And I really shouldn't have done that. I really shouldn't have done something different like an X-Scissor maybe, um, or at least a Rock Slide or something, because now I get taken out by an Energy Ball, and yeah, so we're now it's now it's 5-5, five, five, and I'm going to go ahead and switch out uh, Angler, the biggest threat on my team quite easily. I see that at least two of his Pokemon are weak to Ice Beam, so it's an obvious move, and I take out his freaking Sun Current. I cannot believe that thing got a freaking kill. Okay, so anyway, now out comes... Uh, and my opponent switches out into, um, what should I call that thing? Pineco. Uh, T-Bolt is not going to be enough to kill it, and he covers some health with Oran Berry, and now my opponent makes a really stupid mistake and goes for the explosion. So it's a really stupid mistake because the explosion got its power nerfed in Gen 5, and I have the Reflect up. So that's really not going to do very much for me. I mean, I survive with 50% health, that's kind of insane. Anyway, next up for my opponent is Aledia. Uh, as uh, my opponent rotates into Lady, wait, Lady Ba, I'm sorry. Uh, my opponent rotates into Poliwag. Scald is gonna do nothing. Uh, I don't even get the burn. Uh, gonna go ahead and go for the Thunderbolt here, seeing as all three of his Pokemon are weak to it. Um, and doesn't really do that much. I'm wondering if that's an Eviolite set. Anyway, uh, rotation. The Brave Bird. And I'm pretty sure I go for the T Bolt here again. Um, again, Angler's taking these hits mainly for thanks to the Reflect. Uh, if, I, he really should have gone for special moves if he had them. Um, I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, take out that rufflet. It's a rufflet. And here my reflex does finally wear off. Anyway, he's down to his last two Pokemon, uh, and I'm going to go ahead and rotate into Sean, and I'm going to go ahead and set up my sub, predicting him to do some kind of setup move. Instead, he goes for the acrobatics, boosted by Flying Jump. That's going to obviously take out my sub, but hey, he had he just wasted a Flying Jump acro uh, acrobatics, so that's actually not that bad for me. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and stay in, going to go for the Sucker Punch. Um, just thinking I could do a lot of damage. His Dizzy survives with like 1 HP, goes for the Scald, and that's gonna hurt pretty, pretty bad. Um, don't know how much HP it gets me down to, maybe like 3 or 4, but I get burned, so that's less than fortunate. And I'm gonna go ahead and rotate out at this point. I'm gonna go ahead and go for the Light Screen. Uh, I think I'm just gonna try to set up dual screens. I mean, he is down to two Pokemon, but I really don't know what I'm doing. It's re rotation. I, this is my first rotation front battle ever. Anyway, what his Dizzy goes to sleep to uh, recover all of its health, and I'm like, oh man, that's not good. How am I gonna take that thing out? 
Uh, Neela is going to go for the wish, and I'm just thinking, you know, he's going to have to burn off some sleep turns if he wants that thing to wake up. Maybe he's running a sleep talk set, I guess. But anyway, yeah. Rotation, I go for the reflect, so now I've got both of my screens up, and I really don't have much to fear for any of these Pokemon. Uh, Double Edge is going to do not really that much. Uh, you know, thanks to the fact that I do have those both of those dual screens up, and I'm going to be back up to almost full HP after the wish. So that's excellent. Um, my opponent decides to burn off a turn of sleep, and I go for another wish, I'm just going to get uh, Angler back out just to finish the match. So yeah, his Dizzy is still asleep, I go into Angler, and I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, my opponent actually wakes up this turn and goes for the Scald. Well, yeah, sorry, uh, I've lost track of the number of sleep turns. Anyway, yeah, so Skull isn't going to do very much. I'm going to go ahead and go for the Thunderbolt. It's not going to kill, but I am going to get pretty much all of my HP back, or at least half of my HP back, thanks to that wish. So I'm, at, I'm up to about 50% health, and my opponent decides to run. So, not bad for my first rotation battle. It was actually kind of fun. Uh, if you want to do a little rotation Little Cup, feel free to challenge me.